हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आईआईटी आई टी खड़गपुर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड वेलकम टू ए ब्रांड न्यू सेमेस्टर ऑटम 2020 सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द कोर्स दैट यू हैव एनरोल्ड एंड इज द सब्जेक्ट नंबर इज सी सी एस वन ट्रिपल जीरो वन द नेम ऑफ द कोर्स इज प्रोग्रामिंग एंड डेटा स्ट्रक्चर सो वी आर इन द थ्योरी पार्ट सो इट हैज ऑल्सो ए लैब काउंटर पार्ट विथ इट सो प्राइमरीली वी five faculties from the department of computer science and engineering will try out to teach you the theory part of this course as you know that usually in the first year you have 20 sections and 10 sections in each semester take a common set of courses so this course is taken by 10 of your section section 11 to section 20 and in the next semester that is the spring semester another 10 sections that is the first 10 sections will take the same course now to give you a brief overview of in, of this programming course how it we will operate it so this video is basically to let you know how the modality or the operability in the course will happen throughout the semester to start off with the most important thing you need to know is the course web page so this is the course web page so we five teachers if you go to our web pages as well you will find we will put up this course same course web page link and everything related to course will be notified posted here so only write down this line that is given in the red and in the open a browser and you can just click on this and see that the web page has already been put up now all these slides you need not have to write down in terms of notes because we will put up in the web page this video links will also get put up in the web page the examinations every notifications will be there the only thing the red line you just copy ditto type it in the web page web, in your browser you will find the web page since this programming and data structure course has are taken from a long back so therefore we have a long repository of what are the materials available you can get it from this link also in the web page i have linked this particular page so you do not have to even take note of this blue web page only the red thing will suffice everything can be reached there the essential part of this course is the books that you need to know usually programming is such kind of an activity that i will encourage you to do more and more to learn rather than it's it's not kind of a learning from reading a book but you need to participate or do more and more programs so we will use c as a language in this course so effectively the option 2 and 3 that is these two books are kind of a textbook kind of in nature the first one is a more advanced textbooks and by the way these two fellow carningham and ricci are the founder of the language c that we will use so this is a very advanced uh, programming language book the last three are mostly data structure oriented books so 4 and 5 are the data structure part of this course and uh, finally this is an advanced reference book i would say that it is basically a problem solving so the primary objective of this course if, if i if i tell you is how to solve problems using computers with c language this is the learning outcome of this course so one part of it is learning c and coding or programming it the other part the most essential part is how to conceptualize the concept of problem solving that taking a problem how can you solve it and use c as your vehicle to just solve the problem that you want so this is the overall gamut of whatever things we will cover will fall into this sample let us know the sections teachers and timings first so you know your section number i i, I am sure that you know that so effectively there are we, we divided into five two sections into one cluster and we divided into five clusters so from section 11 to 16 this three cluster has the same class sorts that comes in monday second half 3 to 5 pm and tuesday 3 to 4 pm the teachers responsible are respectively professor devdeep mukhopadhyay professor pralay mitra professor swagato sanna all from the department of cs the rest two clusters of section 17 to 20 have a common slot which is wednesday thursday and friday one hour each 
you can see it from your timetable too. And the respective teachers for sec 17 and 18 is myself, Aditya Hajra. Section 19 and 20 will be taught by Professor Somujitti. We both are from CSE. So, you can also see there is a doubt clearance live session. So, usually we will try to put up online lectures and we will meet you once in every week. So, section 11 to 16 teachers will meet their corresponding sections in Monday slots. Section 17 to 20 teachers, me and Professor Somujit, they will try to meet you on the Thursday slots. So, to know more, let us proceed. Usually, the course will be operated in four particular types. So, one is the lecturing, that the, the course material or the lecture that we will provide. So, usually, our this, this time, our five of our teachers will cover mutually disjoint topics. So, for, for example, the first week, I will take the introductory part of it. The second week, some other teacher will take the second week. The third week, next teacher. The fourth week, next teacher and so on. So, all those lectures will be pre-recorded and uploaded in the YouTube and we will try to upload it in Saturday for the forthcoming week. So, every week it's a 300, that's a 3 hours of teaching. So, 3 hours of lectures will be uploaded in YouTube on Saturday so that you could look into it in the forthcoming week. Course webpage has every details of the topic, the video link, the lecture slides. Everything will be there in course webpage. Those who have already clicked or, the, or typed the link in a browser, you can pause this video and can type and see it. Already the first week lectures are uploaded and this lecture is part of, part of that also. There will be live sessions. So, we want to interact with you because unless we interact with you, we cannot reach you in this remote mode of teaching. So, Section 11 to 16 teachers will interact. The respective sections by individual teachers will interact on Monday slots as mentioned. Section 17 to 20 will interact with their respective sections on Thursday slots. Meeting details. We will usually do these sessions in Microsoft Dreams because the primary reason being institute has a <coughs> license to do it over Microsoft Teams. So, our institute email addresses and your institute email address will also be have a free access license for Microsoft Teams. So, you can log into Microsoft Teams and each cluster of two section teachers will create one one section um, subject entries. There we will have Microsoft Teams meeting link uploaded. Even if you do not get into Microsoft Teams, don't worry. We will send you the meeting link every for every week through mails. Our, all your mails are there in our ERP. So, respective teachers or instructors will send you the mail about. So, you will only have to click that link and join in Microsoft Teams in due times. For clearing the doubt, whenever you listen a video, so we have already put up a doubt clearing form every week. So, you can immediately check it in your web page through the web page link that we given. For week one, we already have a form called query form. If you click the query form link, a Google form will open where you have to put up some mandatory details, name, roll number, section, etc. Plus, you have to select from a drop down menu which lecture you have a doubt and you have to register your doubt and click on submit. If you have multiple doubts, multiple submit this forms, multiple times you have to submit. In between, once you have submitted it, even if you, when you read it next time, you got another doubt, please feel free to open the same form, type the details, lecture which lecture you have a doubt, submit it. Teachers will address those queries in the in the live sessions that has been con controlled. But if they are in the live sessions, you can also ask us live questions. But since being it, it, it being a large class, even if two sections, there are 180, 90 or 200 students will be there. So, we prefer that you register your doubts through Google Forms because there will be multiple similar doubts which we could filter it out and use the time very effectively. But during the interactions, if, if further doubt comes, you are you are encouraged to ask the questions from, from that time also. The most important thing is examinations and tests. We will usually conduct it using Google Forms. So, we will let you know. Course web page will obviously notify you. Even for the examinations, respective teachers will mail you the date times and all. Though we have freeze the dates, you can already see in the course web page. In the next slide, I will show you. So, the examinations will be conducted in Google Forms. So, we, we, we solicit your sincere uh, participations in those examinations. 
So to summary, your lectures will be on YouTube videos. The live sessions is on Monday for section 11 to 16. For section 17 to 20, it's on Thursday. For doubt clearing, there is a form in the web page. Click it, fill it up, submit it as many times as you have doubt. For examination and test, dates are freezed. We will show you. It's there in the web page already. And it will be conducted to Google form. Every announcement will be there in the web page. Every announcement will be mailed to you. Sincerely check your mails and be updated with this course. We cannot help it because you need to be updated because we, it's a remote mode of education we are doing. Examination dates. We usually try to do one short test and one long test every end of a month. So we start at December 1 and we will end at March 5 as per the course, course um, duration. So December last two weeks will be two exams. January last two weeks will be two exams. February last two weeks will be two exams. To eliminate slot conflict, we made the exams in the evening slots from 7 p.m. every Wednesday. Please book your calendar. So there will be three short tests, 20 marks each, max 30 minutes. The time can vary from 20 to 30 minutes depending upon the number of questions we give. There will be three long tests, 40 marks each, max 60 minutes. The syllabus, how it will be, it will happen, the modality, everything will be mailed to you. As we have already mentioned, it will be done in Google form. So the link will also be mailed to you in, in the due times. Do not worry. Usually in the live sessions, we inform you the syllabus, the course web page has the notifications. Do visit regularly in the course web page. In case of change in any dates, though we do not want to do it because we have to manage this first year overall in the institute, the exact dates will be announced in the live sessions and notified in the web page. So no issues, even if it will be mailed to you. So please be sincere with uh, checking all these things in due times and participating in this. Now, hope this pandemic will end soon, but uh, since we are in the online mode of remote teaching and learning, so you have certain responsibilities to carry. We cannot directly have face-to-face -face or close interactions with you all. So it's your responsibilities to study the lectures, video lectures that we put up every week because we usually put up in the weekend for the forthcoming week. Now you have to plan which time you will view these lectures because it is totally up to you. So usually we will put we put up in Saturday because see the first doubt clearing is on Monday. So the first six sections, 11 to 16, it is encouraged that if you three hours, it's it's simple three hours, right? So it's simple to get out three hours in the weekend. So even if you do it in the weekend and put your doubts by Mondays, it will be helpful to clarify it. Rather, we can revisit again and again with your doubts. That's not a problem. And for the rest two sections, it could be a little relaxed. But you accordingly schedule your calendar for the week when you will listen to this lecture. And this is very essential because semester runs very fast. So unless you are very meticulous about your timing to do it for each of the subjects, then you will otherwise you, will, you may get lag behind. So be, be sincere in that. You have to attend and participate every week's live sessions and examinations and it's mandatory. Because live sessions are the only place where we can interact with you, where we can listen to you. Otherwise, it's totally remote. Course web page must be regularly checked because we all updates, we do it. Essential updates, that is the communications for some changes in or the tests or some, some, some essential communications will be mailed to you. Specific section related communications will be communicated through email by respective teachers. For example, section 17 and 18, you will get an email from me. And for the respective teachers of other sections, we will do it. Kindly update your email address in ERP and check them regularly because that's the only way to communicate. The course web page and your emails is the only way to where we communicate with you. Whenever you read the course material, please raise your doubts whenever you have any. Because unless you tell us your problems, we cannot solve it. To be very frank, do not hesitate to, to ask questions because no questions is stupid. Every question has its potential. So please ask questions because you are new to this kind of a platform. So we provide you a Google form. You write anything you wish. Any suggestions regarding the course are also most welcome. We will try to address this to our best knowledge possible. And uh, silence is obviously considered that all things are understood. So, please ask questions whenever you need. 
so we also request um, i mean there is no other alternative than do it over internet so we request you to have a steady internet connectivity so that it is doable and you have a available device whether you can act upon pc or mobile and respective softwares you as as you need to do it because let's say you are listening something on your on your computer and you should have a audio device activated right so your audio should come out like that and for this course the lab teachers will tell you which software to use to write the programs we the theory teachers are mostly deal will be dealing with the conceptual con, con, concepts of cs so we request that at least you have a device to listen learn do some do the work and have a steady internet connectivity so please try to adhere by these requirements and responsibilities from your end to smooth the school run the course smoothly so here is your uh, teachers um, to introduce you because i you, you are seeing only me and gradually as i said we divided the lectures over the weeks and each teacher has a will take part in each week and periodically we will move in so myself is the lowest bottom bottom one uh, so this is this is myself section 11 12 this is your teacher professor devdeep mukhopadhyay the top left one section 13 and 14 middle top middle one pralay mitra is your teacher section 15 and 16 swagato sannal is your teacher the bottom right one this one is your teacher swagato sannal section 17 18 myself as you are seeing here and the final two sections 90 and 19 and 20 professor somujit de so we all are from computer science department you will you will find us in the computer science department when you are here so we all sit in the computer science department we look forward to meet you when you when you are when you come here in the campus for now on these are your teachers so i hope we will have a wonderful semester and wonderful learning in this pgs course ahead so feel free to ask us questions and send us your suggestions about these courses so from the next lecture onwards we will try to get involved into the course activities so thank you for your attentions all the best to you